Right, so for Patreon supporters, this is this is we're about to sit down and record with um, Paul Taylor, MBE. Paul Taylor, MBE, uh, who's also a Patreon supporter. But so he's going to do <laughs> he's going to do the random draw for you guys and for him for the James Hook signed jersey from Ospreys. Uh, now the plan was for you, Paul, to I was going to say, you've got your phone and get one of those random number generators. Uh, right. Yeah. However, we won't do that. You can just going to pick a random number for me out of a. Uh, there's a finite set. I'll tell you. The, I'll tell you okay. the set. Right. Because there's 31 Patreon supporters as we speak. Right. Yeah. You're going to pick one of those random numbers All between right. one and 31. Don't pick right. it. Don't okay. Yeah. Right. Because I, I need to get the list of people in front of me. In fact, you can pick the number now if you want. Do you think this is a, how? How should we do it? So, uh, so. Right, we need to. I need. I, I don't want to give any names, obviously. But you want to build. You want to build a bit of tension. Yeah, but also, also, how do you think we? Sh- I mean, open to it. how do you think we should select a random number between one and thirty-one with eliminating as much bias as possible towards? Well, you get me. No one wants to pick one, do they? You just get me to do it, and I'll do it, and I'll pick a random. Yeah, but now I said no one wants to pick one, do they? Now you've got a bias towards one because you'll think I should pick one because no one wants to pick. Well, one I, I already know what I'm going to pick the whole oh, way yeah? through. Yeah. Right. Right, pick the number. Number seven. Right, right. Let's have a look at number seven. Is <laughs> and, <laughs> Let's bring out. I'm gonna put, what I'm going to do is I'm going to the B Patreon list. Yep. And see who number seven is. That's quite early on, that. I think it's quite early on because 1 to 31, they're lumbered in order of people who joined up. Yeah. Now, we, now, now I've said that, we can't ever do this again. It has to be a random number generator. Yeah. You reckon number seven? Okay. Yeah, I'm happy, mate. Yeah. All right, so look. I'm going to log in. God's sake, sorry about this. Log in the other one. Who do you think number seven? He's another Patreon supporter, yeah. No. Could be Dave Davis. Could be Dave Davis. Could be Dave Davis. Yeah. Um, why, while we're waiting, why did you name your dog Hercules? Why? I was studying, so I've got a degree in English literature that I got from the OU when I left the army. And I was studying the classics, Greek mythology, at the kitchen table where my girlfriend at the time got me this Hercules as a present for getting out of the army. Got you the Hercules? What do you mean, got you the Hercules? Got me the dog as a present for getting out of the army. Did she ask you to leave? No. Right. So I was getting out after, you know, time done. And obviously it's difficult having a dog if you're in the army, mm-hmm. um, unless you're an officer and you've got black lab. Um, so, <laughs> for normal blokes. So, um, she had done a bit of research and said, right, here's a little dog who can, you can take him out in the hills and you can take him running and all that kind of stuff. And he arrived. And then as because I, I was studying that, that book was there. I thought, right, I'm going to call him Hercules. Got you. And Hercules is the So he's one. Hercules, Herc to his friends. Right, but Hercules is the god of what? Hercules is not a god, but Hercules um, is a mortal. But he did, I think they're called the 12 tasks of Hercules. So he, yes, yeah, 12 tasks of Hercules. So he had to like kill the Hydra, which is a seven-headed snake, and do all this stuff to appease the gods. So he's basically nails. But he's not a god? He's not a god. Hercules is not a god. I, I thought he was. Well, there you go. Little known fact. Hercules is immortal. Hmm. Who killed him? Don't know. Can't Jesus remember. Jesus Christ. Right, let's have a look at this. Uh, so, number seven. He'll be happy. This person will be happy with this. Okay. He's a very grumpy, he's a, he's a very grumpy man. Uh, he, he is a grumpy man. He complains <laughs> a lot. He's he's serving. He's still serving. He's Power Edge. Yeah. He's, his name's Graham. You won't you won't mind me mentioning him. It's Graham Groves. It's Graham Groves. So well done, Graham. For in fact, I'm sure this is the second thing he's won, which will amuse him equally because he likes to try and get one over on me or anyone really. He's yeah, one of yeah, those yeah. People. yeah. Yeah. He's he's yeah. uh he's one of those unfortunate. You know, I, I have to try and put up with him. Oh, you're a Patreon supporter. Oh, you're such a good friend and all that. Whereas I mean it with you, but yeah. Graham. Graham, I don't mean it when I'm talking to you, mate. Right? <laughs> I just had to put up here. But, uh, <laughs> so Graham Groves has won the signed 
James Hook jersey as chosen by Paul Taylor. Happy days, Graham. Mm-hmm. Hope you enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he won't be able to fit in it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's it. Well done, Graham. Slightly gutted you won it. Right, start that one. <laughs>